Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Cinderella Challenge. This is part one. This challenge was created by Addict1220 on the Sims 3 forums. Um, I know there are a few variations out there. This is the one I decided to go with. This is the original as far as I can tell. It was in 2009, but um, I am doing a variant. And as you can see, there is a, uh, a father here as well. In the original fairy tale, the uh, Cinderella's father was not dead. That's just, he, he wasn't. Um, so I'm going with that. And also, well, I'll explain in a second. This is Maggie, and she is our Cinderella. Now, Cinderella's real name wasn't Cinderella or Cindy or anything like that. So I just decided to name her something different. And they're going to call her Cinderella as a mean nickname because that's exactly what it was for. And right now, as you can see, she's very upset. She's crying over her mother's grave. Her mother's name was Sandra, and the epitaph reads, Here lies Sandra, brave of heart and kind. And she was a really, really great lady. This house is overseeing uh, the uh, the person, the people who own this house, the, uh, <laughs> the Merrill family, they own this house, and they have for a long time, and they maintain the local, uh, one of the local graveyards. There are a couple, but the issue being that after Sandra died, Ambrose, that's Maggie's father, realized that he didn't particularly want to be in the business of death anymore. He did love his wife, although he was rather cool and callous about it. And he's he likes his daughter, but he's kind of indifferent. But he, he really isn't that nice of a guy. And so he's decided that he's going to give up on the funereal business and go into... Um, Yes, go into business, and that's what he's going to do. We're actually going to send him along to do that. But he married this woman here, Elizabeth Merrill. She's a local. She's very wealthy, and she's accustomed to things being a lot nicer than they are. This house is nice, but it needs to be fixed up. Let's get things started so they can just move around. And so her goal is she agreed to move in here after she married Ambrose, but her goal is to update the house to her standards and make it so that she's comfortable. Um, and then down here we have Liza Merrill, which is her first daughter. She actually has twin daughters. This is Liza. And we'll go over their traits in a section. A section second. And then this is the uh, fabulous Vivian. I wish her... Uh, there we go. She appeared. Let's see. Yes. And then Maggie is heading down to her living quarters, essentially. It's not a very nice place, but she's heading down there in order to work on her uh, her building skill a little bit. She's going to work on handiness. She doesn't have much, and her father, at the behest of his new wife, allowed for his only biological daughter's room to be moved down into a renovated area of the crypt. So this is where she lives, and this is where she eats, and this is where she's going to make her own food and sleep and shower and all of these things. Now part of the challenge is that she's supposed to have sort of a separate area. She's also going to have a little outdoor garden and then another one in here where she can have like a little hot house thing. Um, the reason that Cinderella is often blonde in the fairy tales is because the Grimm brothers were, um, were in fact German and a lot of, of German individuals, well, they you know, they were of Germanic heritage. A lot of people of Germanic heritage have blonde hair, which is a lot of the times why your heroines in, um, in Grimm's fairy tales have blonde hair. That's just essentially it discuss matters of etiquette. So, yes. Um, poor Maggie. She's down here. Her stepmother's gonna come down and be like, we need to talk about your etiquette and your behavior and the fact that you're walking around in these wooden clogs. They force her to wear these wooden clogs. They don't give her much in the way of, of amenities or anything like that. She's actually kind of a loner, which is... it works out. She's good, and she's neat. But as you can see, she doesn't get along with her stepmother at all. What's going on up here? Put toys away. 
She's going to go check for monsters. Okay, so Liza is evil, ambitious, and a diva. Vivienne is hot-headed, evil, and mean-spirited. And Ambrose is perfectionist, athletic, charismatic, proper, and a snob. Formalize. He's switching into his formal wear. He's going to go sleep until fully rested, and then he has to go get himself a job. She's going to go to sleep. And then you, Missy, she's just going to go right back to uh, to the grind. Humiliated. Oh, her stepmother was not nice. One second. Do, do, do. I'm actually setting a timer on my phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't mind me. There we go. So, generally, what she has to do is chores. Pretty much. Oh my god. She's going to be beaten up. Um, I've actually never seen this. Yes, she has to do the family chores. She doesn't have to do the cooking or anything, but she's not allowed to eat in the kitchen. And when she's a teenager, she has to take over the responsibility of taking care of the family. Right now, she does have to clean and things like that, but in essence, most of what she does is tidying up beds and taking in um, the paper and all of those things. And uh, what's another thing that she has to do? I'm not sure. She has to build skills. She's not allowed to use any of the skill building objects in here. And, um, yeah, all of her stuff is kind of on the crappy side. Ah, oh, she's just really sauntering down here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Not great. <laughs> and Liza's just waiting. Aww. Oh, Vivian, you can't sleep in Maggie's bed. No, you can't practice chess, honey. Play with blocks. Vivian, you have a much nicer bed. Now, right now, because the house hasn't been renovated completely, she's sharing a bed with her sister. But she will be getting her own bed. The house is going to be renovated quite a bit. Get out of bed. And go back upstairs to your room. I would hope that you'd look around, realize that this place is horrible, and go. Because Maggie needs to sleep. Get out of bed. Can you go here? Or is she in your way? Okay, do me a favor. Go here. Get out of her way. Yes, I know. Get up. You can do it. There we go. Now go up to this lovely, rich bed that you share with your sister. You don't want to sleep down here in this incredibly depressing, dank, horrible place. Your sister's probably going to get, well, your stepsister is probably going to get pneumonia. Be scolded. Scold, scold. Okay, he's, he's going to scold Vivienne, we'll see. We'll see. Your poor kid's just trying to sleep. Now, for those of you who might be wondering, I am continuing my other series. I haven't stopped any. This has a this has a definite endpoint. So, we just have to get through her childhood and teenage years and into adulthood, and um, from there, I think I think it shouldn't take too long. So, I'm going to be 
Oops. Okay, apparently he came down here and thought, oh, this is horrible, maybe I shouldn't punish her just for, uh, just for that. Are you gonna go scold, uh, scold Vivienne? Um, yes, but I will be devoting time. Um, for those of you who are interested, the Runaway Teen series, I'm still fixing the save, but it's very nearly complete, and when it comes back, it's going to be the Donald Legacy. It won't be Runaway Teen anymore. How will, however, it will still have the same people, so that's something to keep in mind. I will also be setting up a, um, let's see what happens here. There we go. Oh, he's angry. Alright, why don't you go down... Do they not have a stove? Okay, I guess they don't have a stove. Alright. So let's go ahead and put down a nice stove for them. We'll just put that one there for now. You go ahead and serve breakfast, please. Alright, and we're just going to worry about Maggie. Um, yes, I'm going to be setting up an email so that you can all send in suggestions for fan service minis, which will be continuing. Um, and a few other things. I also am planning on starting up a Facebook, and if you remember correctly, I requested... Um, I requested some sims and things like that, so all of those things I will make it possible for you to send to me. Yay! So, part of the variant is in the original challenge, she's supposed to have a fairy godmother. I can't remember if I mentioned this. Um, but she's not going to have a fairy godmother. She has her mother's grave. She has to go to her mother's grave three times a day and mourn and pray, because that's what happened in the original story. Like, this isn't my commentary on religion or anything. That's what happened in the original story. She's going to go there, mourn, and attempt to be with her mother's spirit. And, um, are you coming down to, like, use her stuff? Um, so, no, you don't, don't have ice cream. Grab a plate. And when she wakes up, she'll have to go put away the leftovers if they're still out. Um, yes, in the original story, what happened was the mother, um, like Cinderella's mother, passed away, leaving her father and Cinderella alone. Her father married a very cruel, cold woman. And, okay, why are you all coming down here too? Yes, and then he basically let this woman do whatever she wanted. So, ultimately, the biggest issue being that the father, he, he still cared about his daughter, but obviously he was not willing to step in and keep, keep, um, the, this new woman from being abusive, and, and her daughters, this new woman and her daughters from being abusive to little, uh, his little original daughter. So he went to, you can't have that. I'm sorry. He went to school one day or school. Oh my God. He went into town one day and why don't you have some yogurt for breakfast? Vivian, what is your deal? You got to go to school. Um, is there a problem here? Okay. Clean up. Clean up. And so he went into town and asked his three girls what they wanted. The other two sisters, the uh, Cinderella's stepsisters, said that... Hmm, wait a second. What did I do here? Okay. Okie dokie doke. I'm gonna have to fuss with this a little bit while we talk. Um, so the stepsisters said that they wanted jewels. They wanted pretty jewelry and pearls and clothes and all of those things. The... Let me make sure that... that uh, move objects. 
false. It's just so the excuse me, so Cinderella, I'm losing my train of thought. Cinderella, she stated that she wants or wanted for the very first tree, like the very first branch that brushed against her father's hat on his ride home, she wanted him to bring that to her. And listen to accusation. Accused of being a diva. This is poor kid. Oh my god. Okay. Everybody needs to stay out of her room. You know what? We're gonna institute a little, uh, Boy, she's gonna go to school miserable, and she has to maintain an A, an A uh, average. She has to get there. Um, so he comes back, and I think I'm gonna need to replace that too. Use. I know. All of you get out of here. We're actually gonna. This is gonna be her space. We're gonna close this off. All of you. All of you. Vivian. Go here. Um, so he comes back and he brings the first branch, or a branch of the first tree to hit him on the way home, to hit his hat, and that is the, um, the hazel tree. Alright, so let's do this. Okay. Specify who can open this door. The only person who can open it is Maggie. Yay! Now the rest of you, actually, why do you even want to be down here? This place is not great. I think we're actually going to lock you out of this lower crypt, too. Um, so, basically, he comes back, he gives her this branch, and that's what she plants at the head of her mother's grave. And this tree instead of the fairy godmother is where gifts come from so instead of the fairy godmother giving her the dress to go to the ball in the story it's the tree so we're just gonna i'm making a little bit of an adaptation i decided to go with the fairy tale as opposed to the disney version um for a, a number of reasons but that being one of them i actually want to see really quickly if she's able to jump She's not going to have a chance to eat, so I want to see if she's able to get into the shower. Okay, so she's good. And we're going to have to lock her out of the kitchen and stuff. And as this house is renovated over time, there will be more, um... Oh, sad. The summer festival's here. As the house is renovated, there will be more doors and more ways for Elizabeth to keep her, uh, keep her stepdaughter out of the better parts of the house. Oh, they've formalized. They're enjoying married life. Poor kid. Poor kid. She's gonna try to meet new friends. I don't care what the other girls do. Now Ambrose, you do have to go get yourself a job. If you've decided not to be a funeral director anymore, even though you've been doing well at it. If that's not what you want to do, fine. But you need to go get that job in business that you desire. And I'm not too concerned about meeting his lifetime wish or anything like that or anybody else in this house. It's all essentially going to be making Cinderella's dreams come true. So that's what we're going to do. Um, actually, it's funny because, oh, yeah, this isn't going to do well. Because uh, they'll be upset with her if that goes badly, or if that goes badly, if that, uh, those waffles go bad, but oh well. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> I'm, I just kind of, like, threw this together at the last minute, and I'm a little disheveled and all that. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, it has a, uh, a rather finite element to it. I think we can bang it out pretty quickly. And uh, once I get this and Mega Asylum done, I think, I think it'll be... I think it'll be pretty good. I think it'll be pretty good. Um, archaeology. Uh, no, we're not going to Egypt. She is miserable, but I don't care. I don't care. Where's she going? She's going to bathe until clean. As long as we can keep them out of Maggie's uh, 
I'll call her Cinderella if it makes you all happy. As long as we can keep them out of her her space. That was my dog sneezing. See, and they're just so much in love. Isn't that adorable? You know, how they are treating... Oh, she's gonna scare him. Oh. Wow, she really runs hot and cold on him. <laughs> she's exhausted. Maggie Merrill would like to go to Star Shoes after school. You can, I'm sorry. When you come home, you have to do your, uh... You have to do your chores. You have to put away the food. All the children in your house will be taking, um... Yes, they're gonna go to the police department. These two. Let's see, she'll be home soon. Wow, that bus turns on a dime. Mm-hmm. I also had kind of this idea about, um, whoops, I think they lost us, had this idea about having, no, don't even go inside yet, I want you to, um, go ahead and recycle this, uh, about taking my current series and continuing them, but breaking them up into kind of like a TV show where it would be different seasons. Some of them would be in the spring, some of them would be in the winter and all that, and then I would add new ones over time. You know, these are all things which are kind of up in the air and I'm not totally certain about. Um, nope, you have to clean up. Poor kid is just exhausted. Vivian is hot-headed. It means she's much easier to anger. She's pretty unpleasant. And then when you're done, I want you to... I guess we're going to have to get her... These mini fridges just never seem to work out. So I want you to bake yourself a vanilla muffin. And then after you've made yourself a muffin these beds are the bed is made this bed is not made oh except yeah vivian is going to sleep so oh she's gonna pass out these two are gonna mastermind a plot together mm -hmm. let's go I'm excited to try this out. I don't know. Who just peed themselves? Or is that just where she passed out? She wasn't fighting in public. She was fighting in a, fighting in a very private place. She's gonna do her homework. I'm just gonna have her make herself a meal of muffins. Because for some reason, I can never get these mini fridges to work. They always glitch. Even if there's nothing in the way, all that, it's always, hmm. Okay. Put away leftovers. Ambrose has improved his cooking skill. Yep, Ambrose is taking care of all that. She's very tired. Now we're gonna actually unlock... Is Vivian still in bed? No, she didn't end up going to bed. Okay. Okay, now she's in bed. So we can't wake her in order to clean up. So you're actually gonna... Not ask for a bedtime story. Not... She's not gonna give you one. So don't ask for it. We're going to set bed ownership to Maggie. And we'll keep building that cooking skill. Mm. 
When do you work, dude? Oh, there's my timer. All right, so I'm sorry I sounded so confused through certain parts of this. Um, again, like I was saying before, I... Oh, no, you can't go to sleep. You need to clean that up. Nope, you need to clean that up. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to give this a shot. I wanted to do something a little bit new. I'm doing other games now, too, and all of that. But um, definitely, I think this will be fun, and I will be, as I said, continuing my other series. So worry not about that. And you should probably try to do your homework a little bit, but she's very tired. And then after after she puts this away and either passes out or does her homework, we'll see how that goes. Go ahead, you eat that disgusting muffin. That's right, stuff it in your smug face. Oh, did I list off all of their, their traits? Oh, she's like, no, I'm sorry. I can't do my homework. I have to go to bed. Okay. Um, so, yeah. She's like a dramatic, evil, grumpy, proper diva. That's what that's Elizabeth. Ambrose is a perfectionist, athletic, charismatic, proper, and a snob. Um, ambitious diva. Yep, I think I did those. Yep. So, that's all of them. Okay. And next time I will definitely not be so discombobulated. I hope. But... If you don't mind, go ahead and give this video a rating. I always love hearing from you in the comments. I know I've been so far behind on my comments, but believe me, I read all of them and I appreciate every single one of them. Um, yeah, keep your eye on Twitter. If you happen to have Twitter, go ahead and give me a follow there. I'm going to be asking for... I'm just basically doing little polls and stuff on there and also giving you directions to where you should send emails and stuff like that. And also I will be doing a giveaway pretty soon. So something to keep in mind. Thank you. 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 Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.